Your podcast website is a one-stop destination for all of the show information that your listeners need to know. And there are several great tools to help you get started. Let's go over the four best ways to build a successful podcast website, and we'll take a look at some examples to spark your creativity. Now, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel. The easiest way to build a podcast website is by using a hosting provider that will automatically create one for you. The best hosting sites that will provide you with a podcast website are Transistor, Buzzsprout, and Anchor. These sites create a landing page featuring your episodes and links to listen on various streaming platforms, or even on the site itself. Each episode will have its own page with show notes and external resources for your audience. On Buzzsprout and Transistor, you can connect your own domain name to the website, but on Anchor, although the website URL can be customized, it will still include Anchor in the title. These are a great place to start, but you may want to consider having your own website separate from your hosting provider. By building your own website, you'll be able to highlight your brand, you can add both your podcast episodes and any related content or e-commerce to your site, and websites are a great way to use search engine optimization to help your show get discovered online. It's important to note that unless you plan on hosting your RSS feed on your own website, which can be a challenge without prior experience, you'll need a podcast hosting provider in addition to your own website. You can hire somebody to build a website for you, or you can build one yourself using one of the following options. Podcastpage.io is the easiest and best pick for podcasters. It will help you to build a website specifically made for podcasting, meaning you don't have to worry about plugins that slow down your site or adding episodes manually. The site will import your feed from any podcast host so that it always stays in sync when you release new episodes. If you're a video podcaster using YouTube, you can even import your videos to your site as well. The site is fully customizable for branding purposes with a visual editor. You can add unlimited custom pages for any additional content that you'd like to host on your website, like blog posts, even guest intake forms and profile pages. Some great podcast websites built using podcastpage.io are the Growth Marketer Podcast, Sleepwave.fm, and Superpowers School Podcast. Another option is Wix. Wix is a drag and drop editor that allows you to customize your website to include all of the details and integrations that you need. Rather than starting from scratch, you can use a template to help you get started. Some of the best Wix templates for podcasting are design blog and podcast template, true crime podcast template, and music podcast template. The Wix builder offers several podcast tools. One of the most useful is Wix Podcast Player, which uses your RSS feed to automatically update and host your episodes on your website. If your tech skills fall somewhere in the middle range, then Squarespace might be the right choice for you. Like Wix, Squarespace is a drag and drop website builder with templates. If you plan to offer products or need other e-commerce features, Squarespace is a good all-in-one platform, but it lacks the metrics and other podcast specific features that you get with the other sites that we've mentioned. Some great podcast websites built using Squarespace are How Did This Get Made, Joe Rogan, and Office Ladies. With the amount of website builders to choose from, there's no doubt that you'll find the right one for you. Just remember to pick one based on your skill level and design goals. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And before you go, subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon so that you never miss another video from the Riverside YouTube channel.